Good morning. I am Mrs. M. Sasikala, Assistant Professor, Department of English. Today, I am going to narrate the short story under the banyan tree. It was written by R. K. Narayan. About the author, R. K. Narayan was an Indian writer. He is famous for creating his fictional South Indian town of Malkudi in his stories. He was a leading author of Indian writing in English. The story is set in the village of Somal, which is near the forest tracts of Mempi. The village has less than 300 people. It has a tank. It is commonly used for drinking, bathing and washing the cattle. So, it is the place for breeding malaria, typhoid and other diseases. But the people in the village have an enchanter. Nambi is the name of the enchanter and he is famous for storytelling. Nambi is an old man. He is an illiterate. He can make up a story from his head within a month. Each story takes nearly 10 days to narrate. He stays in a little temple of the village. It has red striped poles with a stone image of the goddess Shakti in the center. His only possessions are broom, couple of dhotis and upper cloth. He spends most of the day in the shade of the banyan tree. Whenever he feels hungry, he walks into any house and joins with them for dinner. The shade of the banyan tree is a clubhouse for the village folk. On Friday evenings, the village people visit temple for worship. Nambi lit a score of mud lamps and arranges them around the threshold of the sanctuary. He acts as a priest and offers fruits and flowers to Goddess Shakti, which is brought by the village people. At night, he lit a small lamp and places it in a niche in the trunk of the banyan tree. Villagers finish their dinner soon to listen the story of Nambi. Men, women and children gather under the banyan tree. He sits in the sanctum before the goddess with his eyes shut for a few minutes. He takes a seat on a stone, stone platform in front of the temple. Then he opens his eyes and narrates the story. The stories are about Dasaratha, Vikramaditya, Ashoka or anyone. It takes three hours without a pass. He describes in detail. In the first day of the story, the audience knows only the setting of the story. After two or three days, the lamp is lit again in the niche. He narrates the story again. Nambi's voice rises and falls in beautiful rhythm under the moonlight. The villagers laugh with Nambi. They beg with him. They adore the heroes, curse the villains. When the story ends, the village people go into the sanctum and prostrate before the goddess. Next full moon day, Nambi is ready with another story. He never repeats the same kind of the story. One day, as usual, Nambi on the full moon day starts narrating the story. When King Vikramaditya lived, his minister was... But he is unable to continue the story. Something stops him. He stumbles and falters. The audience tells him to take his own time because he looks tired. He gets angry. He tries to tell again, but he fails to continue. After a few minutes, the audience moves gradually except Mori. Mori is his friend. He tells Nambi that the people do not want to make him tired. Nambi gets up and tells Mori that he will narrate the story tomorrow. Next day, he lit the lamp. He lifts the lamp in the niche. The crowd assembles under the banyan tree. He already prayed God sincerely to narrate the story well today. The story goes on well for an hour. After one hour, he fails to continue. He struggles to continue. So he brings the story to a speedy and premature end. He rushes into the sanctum and closes the door. He doesn't eat. He spends the whole day sitting motionless in meditation. The next full moon day, Nambi lifts the lamb in the niche, but only little audience turns up. He doesn't narrate the story. He expects the full crowd to listen to his story. Next day, he goes all around the village and informs that he is going to narrate a wonderful story and expects the full audience. The village people gather under the banyan tree to listen to the wonderful story. He says, 
it is the mother who gives the gifts and is and it is she who takes away the gifts he further tells that there is not a lamp without the oil he also says that there is no use of the jasmine when it lost its scent he finally thanks god for the gift of storytelling he concludes that these are his last words on this earth and this is his greatest story the audience hardly understands anything nambi enters into the sanctum some village people step into the sanctum and see what nambi is doing he sits with eye shut they ask him whether he is going to narrate the story or not he opens his eyes and looks at them he shakes his head and indicates that he has spoken his last words already when he feels hungry he walks into any cottage and sits down for food he walks away once he had eaten he never speaks in rest of his life thus the story ends the story exposes the art of storytelling it also tells about the renunciation from earthly attachment at certain stage nambi understands what life is he accepts the gift of the god and entertains the audience in his village by his story later he accepts what god has taken away from him he understands that nothing is permanent he prepares himself to his next stage of his life he stops to speak and do meditation to attain god thank you students thank you for listening and thank you for watching